My dad is named after this man by the name of Nathaniel Hawthorne, the great American writer. But uh, he was working, Nathaniel Hawthorne was working for a custom house and one day he came home uh, totally dejected to his wife and he told her, he said, honey, I'm so disappointed. I lost my job today at the custom house. And instead of his wife being depressed about it, she looked at him with excitement and glee. And she says, Goody, now you'll have time to write that book. And he just sort of half-heartedly said, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're right. He said, but what are we going to live on? And she said, you know, you'd give me money every week for housekeeping. And I saved a little bit of that money every week for years. And she said, honey, I've saved enough for us to live on for a whole year. She said, I've always known you were a genius. She says, now you can write your book. And he took a year off because his wife, a woman by the name of Sophia, the name Sophia means wisdom. For a wise woman, because a wise woman builds her house. And a foolish woman tears it down with her own hands. But when a man was dejected, rejected, and feeling like a failure, she had this uncanny ability to look at him and not see a failure, but a genius whose work had not yet been discovered. And he came home and wrote like a madman and wrote the scarlet letter that became a masterpiece. And the greatest blessing that he had ever received in his life was disguised as a termination notice. But his wife was enlarged already. And that's why the Bible says that he that finds, the original Hebrew says he that finds a good wife, not just any wife, but a good one. You, you, you got to find a Sophia that has the wisdom to see treasure in somebody who's broke. Are you listening? Somebody that has gone through hell and high water that is feeling dejected and rejected, that is feeling the brokenness of life. And you need somebody that will look at you with excitement who believes in your dream. And Sophia believed in his dream to the degree that she had started saving for it. Faith and works. She believed, she knew that there was a genius in him. That there was a literary work waiting to be unveiled in his life. And he was too busy focused on what he was doing that he wasn't able to focus on what he was becoming. Are you listening? And he was looking at all of the stuff from his past and what had happened. But he had a Sophia in his life. Wisdom, it takes wisdom to look beyond the surface of what looks like failure and disappointment and see genius. She didn't just see genius, she said it to him. She spoke life to him and impacted his destiny. I'm absolutely convinced that my father couldn't have become the Nathaniel Hawthorne Bronner that he was without my mother. My daddy found his Sophia. My mother believed in my daddy to his dying day. She encouraged him. She was the wind beneath his wings.